Jesus, 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 Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Rababa shika siandarabus. Rebebe shiku raba siandaraba shiki asandarabasin. Rakaba shiku raba siandarabus. Rababa shika siandaraba shiki asandarabasin. Rekebe shiku siandaraba shiki asandarabasin. Rababa shika siandaraba shiki asandarabasin. Rekebe shiku raba siandaraba shiki asandarabasin. Rababo shika siandaraba shiki. Father in the mighty name of Jesus. Rakabo shika siandaraba shiki asandarabasin. Rababa shika siandaraba shiki asandarabasin. Rakabo shiku raba siandaraba shiki. So good morning, family. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, here we are again, O God. Father in the mighty name of Jesus. Rababa shika sianda rabasim. Rababo shiko sianda rabasim. Come, let us enter the gate of God. Come, let us enter the gate of God with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Father, we thank you that you give strength to the weary. You increase the power of the weak. Rababo shika siandarabosa. Rekebe shika siandarabase kia sandarabase. Rababa shiko raba siandarabase. Rakaba shika siandaribase. Rekebe shika siandarabosa. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, there is no other God but you. There is no other God like you, my Father. You are high and lifted up. Rababo shika siandarabos. Rekebe shika siandarabasint. Rababa shika siandaribe sekia sandarabasim. Rababo shiko raba siandarabasim. Rekebe shika siandarabos. Rababa shiko raba siandaribe sekia sandarabasim. Rebebe shika siandarabasim. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Good morning, family. Rababa shika siandarabos. Rababa shika siandarabesint. We have come to stand before the Creator of heaven and earth. We have come to to stand before the One who knew us before we were conceived in our mother's womb. We have come to stand before the One who knows our end before our beginning. We have come to stand before the One who knows the plans He has for us, plans of peace. Rababo shika siandarabos. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, hallowed be thy name, my God. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Rababa shika siandarabos. Rebebe shiko raba siandarabas. Rababa shika siandarabes. Rababo shiko raba siandarabas. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for who you are. I thank you, my Father, that the ones you have saved, O oh God, they have come to give you glory. The ones, my Father, you have saved with your righteous right hand, they have come to give you glory. The ones you have protected, the ones you have fought their battles and won them, O oh God, the ones you have given them victory, the ones you have made triumphant, they have come, O oh God, to worship you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Rababo shika siandarabosa, Rekebe shika siandarabase, Rababa shiko rababa siandarabase, Rakaba shiko siandarabosa, Rakabo shike siandaribase, Rababo shika siandarabase kia sandarabase. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I give you the glory, I give you the honor, the adoration, Rababo. I hear the spirit of the living God say the enemy is seeking to sift you like wheat but oh I have prayed for you that you will do not fail that your faith does not fail that your faith does not fail that you do not grow weary in this hundred days the enemy seeks to sift you like wheat but I have prayed for you 
kasianda rabosa rekebe shi kasianda rabasente in this hundred days rababa shi kosianda rabosa there is a time that you will grow weary in this hundred days there is a time you will grow tired in this hundred days it will seem like your prayers are not working but oh there is a bible that says i have prayed for you that your faith will not fail i have prayed for you men ought always to pray and not to faint this morning i hear the spirit of the living god reminding us that the enemy seeks to sift us like wheat that the enemy seeks to sift us like wheat but i've prayed for you the lord jesus has prayed for you the lord jesus has prayed for you and one thing that encourages us is that god had jesus while jesus was walking on this earth every prayer that he made it was answered with results every prayer that jesus made it was answered with results Rababo shaka sianda rabos, rekebe shiko raba sianda rabos, rababa shika sianda rebesen, rekebe shiko raba sianda rabos, rababa shika sianda rebesen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, hallowed be Thy name, O God. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done. Rababa shika sianda rabos, rekebe shiko raba sianda raba. Pray that you do not grow faint. Pray that you do not. Grow grow weary father in the name of jesus rababa shaka sianda rabosa rekebe shika sianda rebese rababo shika sianda rebese rababa shiko raba sianda rebese rakabo shiko nderebe sika sianda rabosa rekebe shika sianda rabase rababa shiko si father in the mighty name of jesus hello word be thy name Hallow word be thy name rababa shika sianda rabos rekebe shiko raba sianda raba sente i hear the holy spirit reminding us of the words that jesus said the enemy seeks to sift you like wheat the enemy seeks to sift you like wheat but i have prayed for you not only have i prayed for you i have equipped you for this battle i have equipped you with the authority to trump pull upon serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by no means harm you rababa shika sianda rabos pray rebebe shika sianda rabos enter the secret place of the most high abide in the shadow of the almighty rakabo shika sianda rabos rekebe shika sianda rabase rababo shika sianda rebese rababo shika rabase sianda rebese father in the the mighty name of Jesus rababa shiko raba sianda raba sin rekebe shika sianda raba sin rababo shiko raba sianda rebe sin father in the mighty name of Jesus we come boldly into your throne oh god the place where we draw strength my father the place where we draw wisdom the well my god the well my father of wellness the well my father of prosperity the well my father of mental strength the well Oh my god rababo shaka sianda rabos the well of strength oh god that having done everything to stand that we still stand oh god rababo shaka sianda rabos rebebe shika sianda rabas what that on days my father when it is hard to wake up oh god on days my father when you feel like you need a break on days my god that we press on my god rababo shika sianda rabos press on on things above press on to the things above rababo shika sianda rabos press into jesus press into jesus this morning lord jesus i have come to hug you lord jesus i have come my father to wrap myself around you lord jesus i have come for the strength i have come for the peace lord jesus rababa shika sianda rabos but the people that know their god you must know whom you have believed come let us magnify the name of jesus magnify 
magnify the name of Jesus above your fatigue. Magnify the name of Jesus above your strength. Magnify the name of Jesus. Exalt the name of Jesus above your troubles. Exalt the name of Jesus above your successes. Exalt this name. Magnify this name. Let this name in this hour be bigger than all things. Bigger than the mountains that stand before you. There is a name that is above every other name. That at the mention of the name of Jesus, at the mention of the name of Jesus, there is strength given for the weary. At the mention of the name of Jesus, there is this power increased for the weak. At the mention of the name of Jesus, there is strength in your bones, health for your flesh. At the mention of the name of Jesus, he said my strength is made perfect in your weaknesses therefore we boast all the more in our weaknesses because we know that his power shows forth in our weaknesses his strength shows forth in our weaknesses father in the mighty name of jesus there is no other god like you my father nay in all these things my god we are more than and conquer us my father nay in all these things my god christ in us the hope of all glory lord god almighty it is no longer us who live but christ who lives in us that this morning we can say oh god greater is he my father that is within us than he that is in the world that when the one that is in the world when he grows tired my god greater is he that is in us the spirit that raised christ from the dead there is the spirit of god the breath of the almighty that that gives us understanding oh god come let us exalt the name of jesus come let us exalt the name of jesus father in the mighty name of jesus this is for your strengthening this is for your strengthening father i worship you i revere you this is how you draw strength from god my father you are holy my father there is no other god like you father i have come my god in the secret place i have come to hide myself oh god i have come to hide my father i have come to give you my weaknesses he said come to me if you are heavy burdened come to me if you are tired this morning i will give you rest there is rest that i give there is peace that I give that surpasses understanding. The, the peace that this world can never give you. Come to me, all you who are heavy burdened. He seeks to sift you like wheat. The enemy seeks to sift you like wheat. The enemy wants you to give up. The enemy wants you to give in. The enemy wants to, you to grow weary. But oh, men ought always to pray. Men ought always to pray. You should not be anxious for anything. But with prayer, with prayer, make your petitions, your requests, with thanksgiving known unto the Lord. Paul said three times I prayed. Rababo shi kasiande rebe senta, rakabo shi ko rabasiande rebe sen, rababo shi kasiande rabasen, rekebe shi kanda rabasi kesiande rabasen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, rababo shi kasiande rebe sen. Father, we are here to worship you. We are here to revere you. We enter the gates with thanksgiving. Oh, what you have done, my God! We were sleeping, my Father. We know not what was happening. We were sleeping, oh. God, the enemy wanted to come, my father, and plant weeds among our wheat. But you, oh God, you said you fight for us, my God. We serve a God that does not sleep nor slumber. We serve a God who creates from speaking. We serve a God whose, whose words are power. We serve a God who creates from nothing. Rekebe 
kebe shikonde rebesi kasi andarabase rababa shikasi anderebesa rababo shikora basi andarabase re kebe shikasi andarabase father in the mighty name of jesus the enemy seeks to sift you like wheat but there is one who has prayed for you, the one whom all power has been bestowed upon him, the one when you mention his name, there is one who prays for you. There is the Lord Jesus who prays for you. Even now when he's sitting at the right hand of the Father, he makes intercession for you. Now it's time to ascend to ascend to the heavenly places where you are supposed to be seated rack up fix your eyes on jesus fix your eyes on jesus move your gaze fix your eyes on jesus you are seated in heavenly places with christ jesus you need to move from that place of anxiety you need to move from the place of depression and go and take up your seat in heavenly places the bible says you are seated with christ jesus in heavenly places enter the place where you sit enter the place where you sit enter a place where you occupy your seat in the heavenlies he who is above is above all that when you sit on your seat in heavenly places you are above all you are above principalities and powers you are above those circumstances you are above those mountains but they that hope in the lord they that wait in him they saw on wings like eagles they saw on wings like eagles because that is where you belong praise the lord your god now praise be unto our god who always causes us to triumph rababashi kasianda rabos rekebeshi korabasianda rabos rakabashi kesiande rebesen rababande rebeshi korabasia kasanda rabos rekebeshi karababande rebes rakaboshi kasiande rebesen father in the mighty name of jesus rababoshi kasianda rabos i know whom i have believed rakabo the people that know who whom they have believed lord jesus we overcome by the blood we overcome by the blood drench yourself with this blood soak yourself in the blood of jesus clothe yourself with this blood it is the blood this morning i take my coat you are fully armored with the armor of god you are fully armored with the armor of god the helmet of of salvation that came about that Jesus had to die for you and I. We are all to thank him. That today we have the breastplate of righteousness. It is because of Jesus. He's the one who made us the righteous ones of God. That today we can shout that we are the righteousness of God in Christ. We thank you, O God, for the buckle of truth. For Jesus is the truth. For Jesus is the truth. Father, we thank you, O God, that what keeps us from being naked, my God, it is the belt of truth, my Father, that is holding on to these pants we are wearing, O God, that is holding on to the dresses we are wearing, my Father, that is holding on to the garment that we are wearing, the belt of truth, my God that we do not become naked, my Father. That Murimwaka, before the world, we are not naked. We are clothed, my Father. Father, I thank you for the boots, my God, of the readiness of the gospel of peace. That when we speak this word, my God, when we speak this word, my Father, that when we speak this word my father it is the power 
of God that when we speak this word, my father, believing my God, it is the power of the living God, the gospel of peace, the readiness, my God, of the gospel of peace. Father, we thank you for the shield of faith. He said, my shield will be your shield. My shield will be your shield. My shield, the things that cannot get to Jesus cannot get to you. Because he said, my shield will be your shield. My shield will be all the fiery darts of the enemy. They cannot get to you. All that the enemy has planned for you. All those plans to sift you like wheat. He said, my shield, my shield has become become your shield i have covered you with my feathers you abide under the secret place of the most high you dwell in that secret place father father in the mighty name of jesus lord god we thank you for the oh my god for the sword of the spirit, the word, my God, the sword of the spirit. There are three witnesses in heaven right now. There is the father, the word, and the spirit. There is the word, the sword of the spirit. You are ought to take out that sword in this hour and say, my father, I thank you that you have given me life and life in abundance. Use that sword. Father, I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus that I have peace that surpasses understanding. Father, I thank you that you have healed me, your God. I thank you that you are Jehovah healer. I thank you that you are Jehovah Kadesh. I thank you, oh God, you are taken, oh my God. Take out the sword of the spirit. I am undefeatable. I come by the name of Jesus. Take out the sword of the spirit. Use that sword. Don't just hold on to that sword. Use the sword of the spirit. I am above and above all. I am above and above all. I am the head and not the tail. I am above only and never believed. What is impossible with me is possible with God. I know whom I have believed. For he who believes enter the rest of God. I am in that rest of God. I gaze upon his beauty. I behold as in a glass the glory of the living God. Use that sword of the spirit. The glory of the living that I be changed into the image of Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you for coming in this place. Holy Spirit, I thank you for your arrival in this place. I acknowledge you. I acknowledge you, Holy Spirit. Use the sword of the spirit. That favorite scripture that you are holding on to, that favorite scripture, that favorite book of the word that you are holding on to. The Bible says it is the sword of the spirit. The Bible says the word of God is alive and active, sharper than a two-edged sword. You are holding on to the sword of the spirit. What can defeat you? What can overcome you? You are ought to thank God. You are ought to thank God. Now thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph. For he has equipped us. For he has equipped us. For he has equipped us. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. We are not just only conquerors. We are more than conquerors. Father, The ones, my God, you have clothed with your garment. The ones, my Father, you have equipped, my God, with the sword of the Spirit. The ones who are always triumphant, O God. The ones who know your benefits, my God. The ones, my Father, who know what you are able to do. The ones who know what you are already doing. Because we slept, my Father. We did not know what happened between the time we slept and the time we woke up. But here we are, O God that no terror by night got to us no disasters my father we heard of them lord god almighty 
He is Yahweh Sabaoth. The earth belongs to him and the fullness thereof. The earth belongs to him and the fullness thereof. By wisdom he created. By knowledge, Rababoshi, he founded Rakabo. By understanding, everything was established. This is the time. If you are new in this prayer platform, 30 minutes is dedicated to telling the Lord God Almighty how grateful we are of Him. Telling the Lord God Almighty that we perceive what He's doing in our lives. That telling the Lord God Almighty that I miss these mountains, oh God, I miss these valleys, my Father. We still see you, oh God. Put on the new man. Put off the old man and put on the new man. The new man says, I am always triumphant. The new man says, nothing can defeat me. The new man says, I put on Christ, the hope of all glory. The new man says, there is one who has prayed for me, that the Father answers all his prayers. He says, I pray that your faith will not fail. Pray for yourself, pray for your family, pray for your neighbors. I have raised up watchmen. The assignment is to become a watchman. The assignment is I've raised up watchmen in Jerusalem. They will not give me rest until they see my word established. You are that watchman. You are standing in this hour praying because the Lord has chosen you to stand for your family. The Lord has chosen you to stand for your generation. Watchmen pray. The Bible says, watch and pray. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. As you are watching, you are praying. What Elijah did. Oh my God. The word made manifest. The word made manifest. He sent out his servant and said, you watch, I will pray. You watch, I will pray. He kept on praying. Lord God Almighty, let rain come back, oh God. He said, amen for the first time. He went out and said, what do you see? He said, I see nothing. The sky is still clear. He prayed some more. Watch and pray. Elijah prayed the second time. The second time he said, amen. He went to watch. What has happened? Nothing has happened. The sky is still as blue as ever. Third time he went to pray fourth time he went to pray the sixth time he was going to pray men ought always to pray and not to faint men ought always to pray and not to faint the bible says pray without ceasing rejoice always give thanks in all circumstances devote yourself to prayer give yourself wholly unto these things the bible says he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him there is a seeking in this kingdom. By the seventh time he was watching and praying. By the seventh time he said, Amen. He went out and said, What do you see? The seven says, I see a cloud. I see a cloud. I see a cloud as big as a man's fist. I want you to look at your fist right now and realize that what Elijah was seeing at the time was a cloud as big as your fist as you put it in front of you and make a fist. That's how big that cloud is in that, oh my God, in that vastness of that sky, in that big sky, in that huge humongous sky, in that blue sky, there was only but a cloud as big as a man's fist. A man believed in his heart that salvation has come. A man believed in his heart that my answer has been prayed, has been answered. That my answer has arrived. My prayer has been answered. A man, a cloud, a cloud as big as a fist. 
a cloud as big as a fist. There might be a breakthrough in your life. It will not come in a big bang. It comes as big as a man's fist. Descending the answers of God. Father, we thank you. My God, we glorify you. Rababo shaka rababa siandarebesa. Rekebe shiko raba siandarabosa. You are high and lifted up. Jesus, Yahweh. Jesus, we lift your name up. Jesus, we magnify your name. Jesus, it is you. Lord Jesus. Rababa shaka nderebesa. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. From experience, we know, oh God, that anyone who shouts the name of Jesus in faith, Lord God, Almighty Jesus is moved, oh God. Anyone who said, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me, Lord, you turn around. Anyone who says, If only I can touch but the hem of his garment, I will be made well. Anyone who touches you, oh God, there is power that flows from the name, there is power that flows from him, there is power that flows from Jesus. Anyone who believes. That when I've come into the presence of the living God, the presence of the Most High, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I give you the glory. Ah, we give you the honor, my God. Father, oh my Father, we exalt your name. We magnify your name, O God. We have come to remind ourselves, my Father, that you are a God who do not fail. Father, we have come to remind ourselves, my Father, that you are mindful of us, O God. We have come to remind ourselves this morning, O God. Father, we have come to remind ourselves that we are still more than conquerors, my Father. As for me and my family, we are for signs and for wonders. You are for signs and for wonders. Family, as for me and my family, as for me and you, we are for signs and for wonders. We are crying out for the baptism of the Holy Spirit because we know the reason why we have not moved in power. It is because we are still waiting for the Holy Spirit to baptize us. Jesus, help us to be more like you, O God. Help us to be more like you, O God. More of you and less of us. I must decrease that he increases. I must decrease. I must, it is a, I must decrease. I must die to self. I must crucify the flesh. I must, oh my God, I must take up my cross and follow him. I must decrease. I must. That he increases in me. That he increases in me. I choose this morning. He says, I place before you life and death. Choose life. Choose life means choose to take up your cross and follow him. Choose to love him more than your family. Choose to love him more than your children. Choose to love him more, more, more than your resources. Choose to love him more than what you have. Choose to worship him with all of your heart. Choose to worship him in spirit and in truth. Father, weigh our motives. Every time I come before God, I ask him, Weigh my motives, O God. Search my heart. What is it truly that I've come to do in this place? Father, any hidden agenda, my God, expose it. Any hidden motive in my heart, any hidden agenda, Lord God, expose it, my Father, that I might worship you in spirit and in truth. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Rande ke sarababa kure ke rende ke siraba sheki asanda rabos. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Rababo shika sianda rabashint. Jesus, Jesus, 
Rababo shikasianda rabos. Jesus. Rababo shikasianda rabos. Father, we thank you. Soak in his presence. Soak in his presence. Father, I thank you. My God, I give you the glory. I give you the honor. You are high and lifted up. Rababo shikasianda rabos. Rababashi karababasi andiribis. Rekebeshi kurabasi andarabos. In the mighty name of Jesus, we prayed. Amen and amen and amen. Father, you are merciful. Father, you are kind. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. And amen family. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. As for me and my family. As for me and you. As for me and my family. As for you and I. We are for signs and for wonders. We are for signs and for wonders. You must contend that in this hundred days you come out with the glory and the power the boldness of the holy spirit let this hundred days not be to waste let this hundred days not be only people who are zealous but have no knowledge let this hundred days not be about you only being zealous without knowledge be zealous with the knowledge of the living god the bible says the knowledge of the holy one is understanding do not leave this hundred days of consecration without the boldness and the power of the Holy Spirit. It was after only 40 days and 40 nights that when Jesus came out of that, out of that wilderness, he came out with a person who is able to do signs and wonders. Do not leave this hundred days the same. You will be doing what Jesus did times two. You will be doing what Jesus did times two. You will be doing 40 days in this hundred days two times. Oh my God. He said, these things I have done, you shall be able to do and more, more than what I did. At the end of this hundred days, you should be in a position that they can be able to bring a dead person before you. And you say in the name of Jesus, rise up, Tabitha. Tabitha, rise up in the name of Jesus. You are able to lay your hands upon the sick and they are healed. This is what the Lord Jesus has promised us, that we will be able to lay our hands on the sick. The blind will be able to see the lame will walk. In this hundred days, content to walk out in the power, the manifestation of his glory. Oh my God, the glory of the latter must be greater than the glory of the former the glory you entered this prayer with the first day must be greater than the glory you will experience at the end of these hundred days contend for that light content to see the manifestation of the power of god this hundred days must not be in vain watch your mouth ask the lord to guard your lips Guard your lips that you are not the enemy of your own prayers. Guard your lips that you are not the enemy of your own prayers. Guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it flows the issues of life. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. Guard your lips with everything you have. Guard your heart with all diligence. Do not sit among the counsel of the scoffers. Do not be among the council of gossipers. They are eating away from you. Everything you put in on a daily basis in this hundred days. If you sit with gossipers, with slanderers, with wicked people, that wickedness come out of their mouth. They are eating from what you are building from. They are taking bricks away from where you are building. Be make sure. Make sure that you surround yourself with people that pray. Make sure if you don't have those people, you surround yourself with the Holy Spirit. You dwell in his presence. If you are to walk out of this hundred days with power, surround yourself with a company 
that leads you into his presence. The Bible says, if you sit among the council of the scoffers, bad company corrupts good morals. No matter how holy you are, if you sit in the company of bad people, if you sit in the company of gossipers, if you sit in the company of slanderers, if you sit in the company of people who laugh at others' downfall, rest assured, rest assured, you will follow Jesus. Father, I thank you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Family, today we are taking our scripture from 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Holy Spirit, give us the light of this word. Give us the light of this word. Let our hearts be like the good soil that the seed of this word falls upon, that it yields, my God, a multiplication of 30, 60, and a hundredfold. Lord, we thank you. The light of your word that we are a people that will not perish because we are seeking knowledge, O God. We are seeking understanding. We are getting this knowledge, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Family, our scripture is from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. Chapter 12, verse 9. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9 9 to 10 9 to 10 second corinthians chapter 12 verse 9 to 10 but he said to me my grace my grace the times when you want to give up my grace the times when you see that it's not working out my grace the times when you think oh god how long my grace my grace he but he said to me family i always tell you i love the scriptures where it is god who said it himself because then when you come into his presence you can say you said not it is written but you said it came out of your mouth but he said to me my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. There lies in the secret. The secret lies in that, therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power there is that power you've been praying for there is that power you have been praying for the manifestation of the power of jesus the manifestation of his glory therein lies the secret i boast in my weaknesses so that christ's power may rest on me that is why for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecution, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Therefore, I delight. I delight in things that shows me that I am limited. I delight in things that shows me that there are things bigger than me. I delight in those things because then the Christ in me is activated. Then I can speak like the one who says, greater is he that is within me than he that is in the world. I delight in this. Because I know that Christ's power is now resting upon me. When I say, Lord, I am limited. I delight in these weaknesses because they show me, they show me I ought to fix my eyes on Jesus. I ought to gaze upon him that I be made radiant. The Bible says I cannot be put to shame when I look unto Jesus. I delight in these weaknesses. 
I delight in persecutions. I delight in me fixing my eyes on Jesus. That they say I make myself holier than thou when I choose the things of heaven than the things of the world. When I do not conform to this world, they say I make myself holier than thou. I delight in those persecutions on account of Jesus. That Christ's power might rest on me. Christ's power rests on the people that are humble. The Bible says humility is the fear of the Lord. When you humble yourself to know your weaknesses, when you humble yourself to know that I am weak, but when I am weak, I am strong because Christ's power rests upon me in my weaknesses. Herein lies the power you have been asking God for. Herein lies the power that when you go into his presence and say, my father, I am limited in my capabilities. I am limited in my abilities. Lord, indeed, I have tried, my God. I have applied for all jobs. I have went to all interviews. But oh, my father, I have come to say, help me. Because I know in these weaknesses, therein lies the power of the living God. I want you this morning to delight in your own weaknesses. I want you to delight in those weaknesses that I am unable to change the situation. But there is one in me, the hope of all glory. I have been crucified with Christ. It is okay. I delight in these weaknesses because I am dead to self. Christ's power now lies on me. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses. Oh, when it comes to you telling me about my weaknesses, I will boast all the more gladly. Because then, so that Christ's power may rest on me. The power of Jesus lies on the people who are humble enough to say, Father, I am weak, strengthen me. The power lies with the people that are humble enough to know that when he said I will send you a helper he knew that you needed help you are limited in your power you are limited in your capacity you are limited in your ability had he not known oh my god had he known that you will be able to withstand everything he would not have given you the Holy Spirit he knew that you only knew in part he knew that you only know in part he knew from the beginning of creation that how I have created men, I have made it such so that it is only when they accept Jesus, it is only when Jesus arrives in a place that the people have accepted that I am weak in my abilities. But there is one who makes me strong. There is one who makes me shine. Who said, arise, shine for your light has come. Who said, kings shall come to the brightness of thy light. There is a helper, a comforter, an advocate he said i know that you are going to need all of these things be not dis be not dismayed do not be in do not be discouraged i will send you a helper when they were scared that now jesus is leaving when the peter the john the pauls of the time when they knew that jesus has to go home he said i have to be crucified that i might go home that one more powerful than i might come when they were afraid that Jesus is now leaving them, he's now leaving them with the enemy because he said the prince of this world is coming to his own house. The prince of this world is coming to this world, but be of good cheer. He has no hold over Jesus. Them that are in Christ Jesus, they are more than conquerors. I have come for the people today that are full of fear. I have come for the people today that say I am weak, oh God. I have come to the people this morning that says I am tired. How long have I been praying? I have come for those people. He says boast in those weaknesses because Christ's power is coming to lie on you. Christ's power is coming to rest on you. 
There are times where you look back on your journey, and you wonder how you made it, where others are falling. The Bible, God has kept to his promises. He said, when a thousand fall at your side, 10,000 on your right, it will not come near you. There are places you have passed, fires you have went through. You were pressed on every side, yet you were not crushed. You were perplexed, but you were not in despair. When you look at the record of your life, you see where Christ was lying upon you. The power of Christ was upon you when you passed through the waters, when you passed through the rivers, when you knew that your capacity abilities, they will not allow you to go through this fire. There was one who was with us who sent you the spirit of the living God. I will boast more gladly in my weaknesses. That you can come into the presence of the living God and say, Father, I know in you dwelleth love, my God. Help me in my selfishness. Father, I have used up all my money. The Bible says the, the woman with the issue of blood have exhausted going to all physicians, have exhausted all her funds going to physicians that he purposed it in her heart that now I will boast in my weaknesses knowing that Christ's power will lie upon me if only I touch the hem of his garment. I have come to the end of my might. I have come to the end of my strength. But there is one who gives strength to the weary, who increases the power of the weak. My grace is sufficient for you my grace is sufficient for you you lack for no good thing the bible says he has given every good thing that pertains to life and godliness you lack nothing from that place you need to pray from the place where god's power has rested upon you from the place where christ's power has rested upon you you need to arise from this place rest pray from this place the place where you know your weaknesses But you know that Christ's power has arrived when you say, Father, I am weak. He said, when you are weak, then you are strong. He said, let the weak say, I am strong. I have come for the people who are about to give up. I have come for the people who are saying, my sister, I pray, but I am so depressed. I have come for the people who are hiding in places. They come out as people who are okay. They come out as people who are fine, who are happy. But in the secret place, they are depressed. They are wallowing in depression. The Bible says, I boast in my incapabilities because I know greater is the one who is within me than he who is in the world. I boast in this God because his power lies within me. The Bible says the enemy has sought out to sift you like wheat. There is one who has prayed for you that you do not fail. This is the mystery. Boast in your weaknesses. There is a song that says, it may look like I'm surrounded, but I know that I'm surrounded by Jesus. It may look like I'm surrounded on every side. It may look like I'm attacked from left, right, and center, but oh, there is Jesus. That when I come to the end of my might, The Bible says it is not by might. It is not by power. Oh my God. It is by the spirit of the living God that we boast in our weaknesses. It is not by might. It is not by power. Pray, pray, people of God. Men ought always to pray. Men ought always to pray and not to fail. Men ought always to pray. When I am weak, 
then I am strong. This is your confession this morning. When I am weak, then I am strong. Are you sick this morning? He says, let the weak say I am strong. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I boast in my weaknesses. I boast in my weaknesses. So that Christ's power may rest on me. So that the power of God cannot rest on a people that is arrogant. The power of God does not rest where there is lies. You know your weaknesses. You don't have to lie about them. You don't have to hide them in his presence. The Bible says in him dwelleth light. Everything is visible in his sight. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth there are people in this place that are struggling to forgive there are people in this place that are struggling to forgive lord jesus this is where you go and boast of your weaknesses father i struggle my god i try to forgive but i cannot help me that is when christ's power rests upon you when you say my father in this one my god i am weak i cannot do it my mind is overpowering me oh god my flesh my father lord god almighty i cannot my father what this one has done to me i in my flesh oh god i cannot my father forgive them help me work within my heart oh but the people that know their god i boast in my weaknesses apostle paul says i boast these are the people who have made miracles these are the people who have healed the sick these are the people who have risen people from the dead these are the people that have made the blind to see the lame to walk they say i boast in my weaknesses the people we would assume that they do not have weaknesses the people we would assume that they have figured out they have deciphered the code they have figured out the mystery the secret of god They say, I boast in my weakness. I boast in this weakness that the power of the living God, the power of Jesus might rest upon me. If you are still arrogant, there's no place for Jesus. If you are still pompous, there's no place for Jesus. If you still see the need to lie about your weaknesses, to to, to amp up yourself, to be pompous, to hide who you really are in Jesus Christ, Oh my God, you are far from getting the tools that is necessary for you to triumphant. Some people have sat in the same position for a very long time. You are praying, but nothing is changing. Perhaps there is something you are masking with prayer. When you come in the presence of the living God, you still put on that mask that you put in the world, that I have everything figured out. You still come in the presence of the living God as someone who has all things figured out you will still come to say father i thank you for everything that you have done for me father i thank you that i am oh my god there are places in god where one becomes vulnerable my father help me i try oh god this thing keeps coming back to me there is this thought that keeps reminding me of what this person has done for me i say i have forgiven oh god but this thing torments me my father the place of vulnerability in god he said i send you a helper I send you a helper. I will not leave you alone. Alone you will be defeated. Alone you are just a mere bag of bones and meat. Alone you are sifted like wheat. Alone the enemy already knows. He has been here for ages and ages before you were born. He knows the patterns. He knows the patterns. That is why in our weaknesses, we run to God. That is why in our weaknesses, we boast in them because we know where we run to, the secret place of the Most High. Father, my grace is sufficient for you. My grace, go into the grace. Take hold of the grace of God. There is the power of Christ that rests on a people that boast in their weaknesses, that it is not by might, 
it is not by power, but it is by the Spirit, my helper. It is by the Spirit, my comforter. It is by the Spirit, my advocate. I boast. I boast that it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. I boast it is Christ who lives in me. I boast it is Christ who lives in me. That when they still seek out to see what is my weaknesses, that when they point out your weaknesses and say, ooh, she is like this, he is like that, that they give you an opportunity to run into the secret place of the Most High and say, Father, more of you, O God, and less of me. All that you might increase in me as I decrease. I decrease, oh God, I decrease, my Father, a place of humility. I decrease, oh God, I decrease, oh God. I come to the Father who knows all things, who can do all things, who sees all things. Father, I am only limited, oh God. I cannot see all things. I cannot do all things. But there is one in me who is able to do all things, see all things. For what is impossible with me, it is possible with God. Family, this morning, the grace for you is sufficient. The reason why a lot of the children of God are wallowing in depression, it is because we still want to put on a mask before the living God. It is because we still want to come as strong soldiers that are not wounded, though we know we have wounds in our bodies, though we know we have wounds from the war, though we know that the enemy has been saying things to us that we have started to believe, though we know the reason why there's so much depression in men and women of God, in the children of God, depression, it is because we do not boast in these weaknesses. When the enemy comes and says, do you think you are capable of praying for 100 days? You start to grow weary. When the enemy says, these 100 days prayers, they don't work. You are wasting your time. You listen. Oh, and he says, you are praying amiss. You listen. And he says, those prayers, you are not praying them correctly. You listen. When he tells you, don't pray for prosperity, that's, you shouldn't pray for things. Who says before your father, you can't come with anything? Who says before your father, let your father correct you. The Bible says whom he loves, he rebukes. Whom he loves, he corrects. Go into the presence of the living God. There is nothing, absolutely nothing you cannot ask. What he cannot give you, he will tell you. And he will tell you also the reason why he can't give it to you. Who told you? Adam said, I hid because I saw that I was naked. Who told you you can't come to God and pray for money? Who told you that you can't come to God and pray for the things that you need? Who told you? Who told you that before your father, your own father, you can't go and just have a mere conversation. You can't go with your frustration. You can't go with everything that is making you sad. Who told you? Who told you? That every time we go into the presence of God, we are ought to have this, this great demeanor. We are ought to be these strong people. Who told you that you can't just go into the presence of God and weep? Who told you? Who told you that you can't go to your father and weep and wail and just weep? And your father who searches the heart, your father who knows your heart, is able to read what is in your heart. Who told you? Adam, who told you? Did you eat from the tree that I told you not to eat from? Did you listen to the enemy? Did you not pray? Did you faint in your prayer? Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Did you faint? Peter, why did you doubt? Peter, why did you doubt? Who told you? Father, in the name of Jesus, I will boast all the more gladly in my weaknesses. Where else are you supposed to go with your weaknesses? Where else are you supposed to go with your struggles? If in the presence of the living God, you need to come as a strong warrior. He's the one who equips warriors. He's the one who gives you strength for the way. He's the one who's the light of the earth. When you follow him, you never walk in darkness. Oh, my father, there is liberty in this place. 
I want you to go into the presence of God as vulnerable as you can be. In the place of God, you can say, Father, I am addicted to pornography. I cannot help myself. Help me, O God. In the presence of the living God, there is no mimicking. There is no mask in that presence. Only light dwelleth there. Where you can go in the presence of the living God and say, Father, I have noticed that jealousy is growing in my heart. I have noticed that envy is growing in my heart. I have noticed, oh God, that I'm beginning to think the thoughts, my father, the thoughts of evil, not of peace, my God. I am able to think of these things that I think that other people are not praying, but they are prospering. Lord, help my heart. The weaknesses boast in those weaknesses before God. Father, help me. Oh my God. You need to see God as a father. You need to see Jesus as a father. He said, I no longer call you servants. I call you friends. I no longer call you servants. I call you friends because servants do not know the plans of their master. Servants do not know what their masters are doing. You can come into the secret place of the most high. The reason why we abide under the shadow is for us, for God to create Jesus in us. The reason why we come in the secret place of the Most High is to gaze upon his beauty, that we be changed into the image of Christ. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you, O oh God. I want to encourage you that whatever it is that you want to go with in the presence of the living God, go with it. Go with it. We have been made to be ashamed of praying for things we need. Praying for things we desire in the presence of God. There have been restrictions, limitation, gates and walls that have been created that you can't be even going to God to ask for clothing. Who told you? Who told you? It is true that God has promised us that do not worry about what you will eat, what you will wear. Why then are you worried about them? Then you can go into the presence of the Lord, the Lord Most High and say, Father, I know you have promised me that I should not worry about these things. But here is this worry, O oh God. Today I woke up worrying about what my children are going to eat. Help my faith, O oh God. That is how you go into your father's place. Your father will remind you of the things he has told you. Your father will remind you, have I not told you? Do not worry about what you will eat, what you will wear, what you will put on your clothes. It's not the body more than clothes. It's not food, the body more than food. Life more than clothing is not that rababo shakasyanarabos. Your father will remind you as your earthly father is able to remind you have i not told you bonolo have i not told you not to do one two three four that is how we relate with god a relationship it is not a dictatorship it is a relationship with your father my father i'm struggling the children of god are not taught to be vulnerable before god we are always taught to go into God with all his promises and be strong in him and wait no you can come in god and say father I know what you have said, but it's so difficult. Help me. My father, I have come, my God. You have placed, my father, these souls in my hands. You have given me this responsibility. Lord God Almighty, I am struggling. Father, men ought always to pray and not to faint. Family, may the Lord bless you. Let us command this day. We declare and decree this day blessed. Lord, we command, my Father, that every dry bone in this day comes to life. Come together. We command every dry bone in this day to come together. Father, no weapon fashioned against us shall prosper. We are above and above all. We are above and above all. For your grace is sufficient for us. Our weaknesses, O oh God, only mean that we are going to be empowered the power of Christ is going to rest on us because they that know their God, they are strong and they do great exploits. Family, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Go and conquer the world. Go and be the salt and the light of the earth. Go and be a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. Go and be a lamp on a lampstand. Let your light so shine before men. Let your light so shine before men. You have the authority. 
you have the authority. He says the power of life and death is in your tongue. It is when you keep quiet that the enemy afflicts you. But when you open your mouth to speak life to your life, to speak life to your children, your household, your community, your neighbors, it shall not be so. That when he speaks thoughts into your brain, you are less than nothing. You will not make it. You will not succeed. That you say, I will succeed. Greater is he that is within me. I will succeed. The, the power of Christ rests in me. It is not by my might. It is not by my strength. It is by the Holy Spirit. I will do it. That is how you combat all the negative thoughts. You must know that everyone gets them. Even great men and women of God, they get evil thoughts. They get negative thoughts. How you deal with those thoughts. That is why you equip yourself with the word of God. That you are able to retaliate. It is written. Cast yourself off of this cliff. Jump off this cliff. Kill yourself. Look at your life. You will not amount to anything. That you can say it is written. It is written. It is written. Father, I thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, family, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. As you go to work, your workplace, as you go to sell your business places, your marketplace, go and shine. Go and shine. Go and shine. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen and amen. Shalom, shalom, family.